Uh, so coming into the game tonight, we, we, we talked about playing the game the right way. Uh, we talked about how many hours and minutes we put into preparing to play games and taking advantage of, of the opportunity to, to play actual game minutes. Uh, and I thought our guys did a great job today of, of playing the game the right way. I thought we played really unselfishly. Um, I was really pleased with, with the scheme uh, execution on the defensive end. I thought it was great that they came out in zone to start the game. We got a chance to work on some zone offense and, and we're much more comfortable uh, than we were the other night. Um, and, and overall, I just, just thought our team played, played the game the right way and was, was really pleased with that effort. Yeah, we we talk about taking care of the ball a lot. Uh, one of the things that we talk about from a statistical standpoint is the our offensive rebounds to our turnovers, and can we always have that number be a positive number? And, and tonight we were plus nine, and we had a couple turnovers late. Um, the 25 assists on on the 39 baskets I thought was uh, indicative of how we played. Like I said, I thought the guys just played really unselfishly. It was the ball going through the through the hoop is a good impact on our guys. Yes, <laughs> no, it, it was, and I, I think we were nine for twelve from three in the first half. And and again, when they came out in the zone, and we were able to knock some some threes down against that zone, I think that helped. And um, yeah, a, any time you can shoot the ball uh, like we did tonight, sixty two percent from the floor and sixty two percent from three. Um, those are obviously great numbers, and and we've shot the ball really well in in, in practice this year. So, um, it, it's it's not a huge surprise to see us, you know, not knock down threes like that. Miguel in particular was uh, hot from the outset. Um, obviously, when you have a stroke going like that, can can you really make the offense sing? Yeah, Miguel is one of the best pure shooters I've ever coached and been around and he's a guy that when he especially when he hits one or two you you feel like he can just he, he can make him in ways for the night and, and he certainly did that tonight so um he gives us a, a a great dimension to the offense because he can stretch the floor and you know obviously the strength of this team is going to be the front court guys uh, and playing through them but when, when you've got guys that can space it like he can like gabe can um and and really pretty much all of our guards that play uh, that's that, that, that's a good combination. Uh, you were able to get some good playing time for some of those younger guys. I mean, I think everybody who touched the floor except for Chris uh, scored tonight. Um, what did you see from the guys like Chase and Charlie that were able to get some good minutes tonight? Yeah, I, I think that's one of the best things about this game is that those guys get some real actual minutes. And you, know, you, you look at these, Charlie played 15, Chase played 20. Uh, Miles got to play 11 minutes, and you know there's there's a a lot of value in just getting out on the floor with the lights on in front of the fans, and uh, a lot of times you get maybe one or two minute stints, but you don't really get to settle in and play a game. And, and, and these guys got to do that tonight. I thought Chase really improved just throughout the course. He had 10 points and nine rebounds. Uh, did a great job of of playing with patience when he got in the lane. Uh, Charlie was able to really facilitate our offense and, and get comfortable doing that, which was good to see. So a um, lot of benefit to, to those guys getting those minutes. Um, well, first of all, uh, Chris looked like uh, when the big, I don't know, when it seemed like it was all right. I, I, I think Chris is going to be fine. Um, and of course, after that, you ended up playing uh, Rice and Nelson together a lot. Um, how do you think they looked like together? Thought they looked really good together. We we've done that in practice a little bit. Um, we did that in a couple of our scrimmages, uh, just to get that look because they can both handle the ball really well. They can facilitate. They can shoot. So it was it was good that we had the opportunity to get them out there together as well because because the two of them on the floor. I think they had 12 assists combined. 12 assists, one turnover between the two of them. Um, pretty good point guard numbers.
it, it, it was great to see Jake to play that way. Uh, he's, you know, he, throughout his career, he's just every time he's gotten into a rhythm, he seemed to have a little bit of a setback with with some type of an injury, and uh, it happened again this fall. So to see him uh, just keep working, he and I talked after our first game and said, "Hey, just stay the course, keep working. It's a long season." Uh, and I told the guys at halftime, we we called a play uh, in the first half. Uh, at a time, at a free throw, and Jake was the one that was instructing the guys where you know who was taking the ball out of bounds as we're sitting there at a free throw. And uh, for him to be engaged like that and, and and focus on the game was I thought was was really great to see. And um, he he did a great job going out there and again playing the right way and and, and the ball kind of you know found him and and he knocked down some shots, which um, was was good to see for him. Yes, uh, I have not watched Virginia Tech play yet. I know how good they are. Mike Young does an unbelievable job uh, everywhere he's been. So it'll be a, a significant challenge for us. Uh, I'm excited to start watching film on them and learn more about them and, and helping our guys just keep, keep getting better here as a team. All right, thanks. We don't need to mention it right now. Yeah. Play, play, you, you, you can just say we played everybody that was available to play tonight.